Okay, Shalom. Hey, it's the brother Karatiza, and I don't know if y'all can see me with, with the camera face this way, but I'm about to set up to do a lesson, so I'm gonna uncover my head before I, uh, you know, get get uh, all praises to the Lord. But yeah, the other day I had came out here to this park, and I I was uh, I did a lesson the other day, but when I had got to this part of the park, which believe it or not, this is like part of a river right here. And as I'm gonna set up the camera, bear with me. Uh, Aki and Aqua, who may uh, come across this video. I don't, I rarely use my camera stand. You know, I don't use it for this for a selfie stick, but I'm going to try and get this, uh, hmm, where can I set this up at? Right about here. Baba Kasha bear with me. All right. Uh, but we're going to get into these scriptures, man. All right. And some of you can guess what scripture I'm going to, if just by looking at this scenery right here, a lot of you, uh, Salaki, bear with me. Will know where I'm going. Okay, let me let me lock this one down. Let me lock this one down. This one down. Okay, I, that's locked. So maybe if I tilt the yeah, from my aspect, uh, this looks good. So like yeah, I gotta tighten this up. I was loosening it. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's cool. So as you can see, as as promised, I uncover my head. Let's get the uh, lesson started. So first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory uh, to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Waha Raka Kodash Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity, so called Negroes so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite, okay? Um, as well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's the brother Karataza, and I'm back with another video epistle, Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. So without further ado, the first scripture that we're going to get is the book of St. John, chapter 7, and verse 38. And it reads, and this is a red letter. All right, I'm right behind the camera, but I got my other, yeah, I can see my other device. All right, and it reads, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, so water is not going to flow out your stomach, man. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, let's get the, the strongest definition of belly, okay? Meaning the wisdom, okay? It's going to flow. Now, as you can see here, Esau got all these different definitions, your stomach, the gullet, all right, the womb. But when you drop down to verse 5, I mean, I said verse 5, so I can we drop down to the definition of five. It says the innermost part of man, the soul, heart, meaning the mind, as the seat of thought, feeling, choice. 
All right, so out of your mind, he that believes for who? Yahweh shot. All right, he that believes for me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, this wisdom, all right, this word, all right? And as you can see here, this is an actual river, even though it's it, it then got real slim at this point of where I'm standing at in Michigan, but it opens in other spots. This thing opens uh, wide up, okay? And as you can see, it's a constant flow. It's a constant, you know, uh, flowing of water, all right? So, um, with that, I want to grab a scripture, all right, because Yahweh Shai said those that believe it for me. Well, Yah well Yahweh Shai, it was prophesied that he was going to come, and those that would listen unto him. Let's get the scripture real quick, man. All right, this is the book, and this is not going to be a long lesson. Uh, this is going to be the book of Deuteronomy, all right, chapter 18, and we're going to grab verses 15, all right? All right, the Lord, thy power, will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, all right, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken, all right, and Yahweh Shai was that uh, sacrificial lamb, all right, for the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai was, uh, or Yahweh Shai was the ultimate prophet. He's our ultimate big brother, like it unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Hebrews chapter uh, 1, starting at verse 1, read on down to 6. All right, he's he's the uh, exact, roughly paraphrasing, he's the exact image of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, so without further ado, let's grab another scripture. This time, we're going to go to the book of Job. All right, Job chapter 32. Okay, and uh, verses 19, we're going to grab verses 19 and 20, all right, and it reads, I'm going to put this in, try and do it like this, uh, it says, behold, my belly, all right, and let's click, let's click on it, H90, all right, let's look at the definition of two. All right, it's H99, H990, H meaning Hebrew, but 10, all right, uh, as seat of mental faculties, okay, your mind, all right, when you look at the word heart, uh, in the Hebrew, it says lab, which is um, your inner thoughts, all right, like, like we just got that definition of belly. But also in the New Testament, when you see the word heart, it's the definition there is your inner thoughts too. Okay, so it doesn't change, man. Out of your mind shall flow. You have to believe on Yahweh Shai, man. All right, you have to believe on the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, our King, and our Savior. And wisdom will stay with you, man. Wisdom will continue to flow. Hey, do I know everything in the scriptures? Hell no. Can I be, can I uh, be corrected in the scriptures? Hell yeah. All right. Hey, it is what it is, man. All right. Uh, so, so with, so with, with that, let's continue on. All right. It said, behold, my belly is as wine, which have no vent. It is ready to burst like new bottles. I will speak. That I may be refreshed. I will open my lips and answer. All right. Yes, we have this wisdom. So we're to put it forth. All right. And wisdom, a river is constantly flowing. Wisdom is constantly flowing. All right. Even if you put a dam and where I'm at, it's called the dam. This exact, they have a marker of that uh, we walk past. And this is actually a dam. But the water ain't stopped flowing, man. Even if you got the, that big Hoover Dam, don't stop every drop of water from going through there, okay? Uh, so with that, it said in verse 19, it said, uh, as wine, but but aren't these scriptures like it unto wine? All right, let's go here. This is going to be, uh, let me see here. 
I always get Psalms and Isaiah messed up, man. I mean mixed up. When I'm looking for something, the Psalms is in Isaiah. And when I'm looking for something in Isaiah, I go to Psalms. I don't know why that happened. But this is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 1. Because even that verse just said, wine that we got in Job, this, this wisdom is likened unto water and wine and other things. Uh, Isaiah 55 and verse 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. All right? And he that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yeah, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. All right, so the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures is uh, like it on to these things. But ultimately, in order to have that, you have to believe on your Howard Shai. If you don't, okay, that's like these other groups. All right, perfect example. And you know, I'm just here telling the truth. I'm not here to beat up on these other groups. These other groups that, that don't call on the name of Yahweh Shai, look how much shit go on in them groups, man. All right, they, 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 they can't even honestly tell you what Revelation chapter 13 uh, starting at. You can start at verse one on down, but pre preferably like 15, 16, when it's talking about that certain thing all right, that Karaks, they can't even break that down right. All right, why? Because if you truly believed on Yahweh Shai, you would you would say Yahweh Shai. You would speak his name, okay? So with that, let me see if we got a couple more scriptures yet. Uh, next, let me see if I had grabbed this one yet. Uh, we're going to go into the book of Proverbs. Yep, we didn't grab this yet. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 4. All right. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 4. So like I'm trying to get it focused. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. All right. Hey, we have to believe on Yahweh Shai. And you know what? That going off a little bit top, off topic. I was down here the other day because like, and I was just thinking how beautiful, to me it, it's beautiful, This, even though Esau done fucked up this earth, it's beautiful, and I think back to the black and white clips of how you would see Jake at the beach, and I'm gonna do a lesson on this. I'm not gonna get, like, I don't, I'm not gonna grab, like, clips of this, but you, they got black and white like uh, news clips of all these Edomites rushing up on Jake. Jake was trying to go to the beach and I got pissed off when I was down here. Just That thought just popped in my mind because the Lord made this earth for the Israelites, for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But you fucking Edomites, y'all uh, want to take this, you know, y'all want to deprive us of what's ours. That's why, man, I can't wait till Yahweh Shai come back, whether I'm of the elect or not, all right? Whether, whether I'm a one-third, whether I'm a 144,000 not, I just want this shit to be over with, man. Hey, I remember as a child, I'd just be like, fuck it, man, let me get... I would run for my mama and my daddy trying to whip me, but after a while, I'd be like, man, I just need to go on and get this punishment over with. All right? This place is uh, hell, man. All right, so with that, yeah, let's, let's grab this scripture. Uh, this is going to... Well, you know what? As a matter of fact... Yep, that was the end of that Proverbs. Let's go here. This will be the last scripture on this. All right. This is going to be uh, the book of First, Thess First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13. All right. And it reads. Yeah, yeah. And the point is right at the latter. For this cause also... Thank we the most high Yahweh without ceasing. That's right. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Hey, we bless the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We thank you. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Okay? Uh, because when ye received the word of the most high Yahweh, which ye heard of us, 
That's right. Hey, I didn't learn this on my own. Hey, the Lord gave me the gift of faith. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. And he, the water y'all by Shimei Shai, he led me to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I had seen these other camps before I even knew about Great Millstone, but my spirit wouldn't allow me to keep watching their videos, man. All right? You, you, and the other alphabet camps. I don't got to mention no names. All right? Uh, let me see here. Ye received it not as the word of men. Right. They didn't make this. They didn't make it up. Like the scripture tells us in the book of Acts chapter 5. I like to start at like around verse 38. If this be of men, it'll come to naught. But if it be of the most high, Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? Then it's you basically is that you could do about it. All right. As it is in truth, the word of the most high, which effectual worketh also in you that what that belief okay so you have to believe first and foremost on Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai man all right and then out of your mind wisdom will flow and what do you do when you have that wisdom well you know what? I was gonna stop right there I, I, I'm gonna grab one more scripture bear with me all right because I'm in this other uh my, I'm in this phone. I'm, so, what I'm gonna, we're gonna go into the apocrypha, and it speaks about. Uh, I know it's Sirach. I believe it's Sirach chapter 38, or it's Sirach chapter 39. All right. No, it's it's Sirach chapter 39. All right. Oh yep, yeah, and here it is. This is Sirach chapter. We'll close out with this scripture, Lord willing. This lesson was edifying. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach or Sirach. And it says, Sirach 39 and verse 7, He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets he shall meditate. All right, yeah, we meditate upon these scriptures. All right. It tells us also in the same book, uh, no, so like, uh, or I believe, see, I get this mixed up. We're at Second Ezra a lot. I believe in Second Ezra chapter 9, it says, speaks about meditating, all right? Meditating on this word. Verse 8, he shall show forth that which he have learned, all right? That's why the apostles start with the apostles and the elders, man, all right? The heads, the heads of our camps, the leaders of our camps, which is their job to do. To look, are you studying? What do you know? Where 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 are you lacking at so you can tighten up? Do at least three lessons a week, okay? So like I'm trying to get back in focus. He shall show forth that which he have learned, and show glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Al Shot. So you know what? Lord willing is uh lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it once again i want to say ko ha la yahweh ba hashem yahweh shai ba hashem waha racha hadash rakatam once again i want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who you well who taught me this truth and who most definitely labored in this word and once again i want to give a sincere Peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, a ball, and shalom.